boom. Welcome to the hottest topic that comes up every single day in my office. Should I buy a house in Florida or should I buy a condo? House versus condo. What do I do, Marco? Hi. I'm Marco Termonesi, and in this video, I want to share exactly how I help my clients answer this very question. So let's get started. The first step that I know is successful in this situation is me getting to know you. I'd ask you questions about your life, your family, and your lifestyle. For example, Mr. or Mrs. Buyer, do you like boating? Do you like the beach? Do you want to be close to the beach? Do you have a large family or guests that will be visiting? How many bedrooms do you prefer? Would you prefer a private swimming pool in your backyard or would a community pool be fine? Do you like golf or do you golf a lot? How long do you believe you will spend down here annually? What's your price range? Your answers give me the golden ticket to guiding you to the perfect property within the perfect city. These questions define what suits you best, house or condo, and every good realtor should be asking them. Typically, if you love the ocean, the sunrise, sand between your toes, and want easy living with no property maintenance, then it's an easy answer, condo. Now my question would be what level of condo? As you improve the view and increase the bedroom count, prices go up. If you like to be in a lower price range, then you might have to take an oceanfront condo with less view and less upgrades. I call this the seesaw theory, which is great because we're talking about the sea, get it? The more upgrades you want, the better the view, the more expensive. No view, no upgrades, lower unit, the more affordable. Oceanfront condo prices can range from 300,000 to 30 million. So the key is to find the perfect balance on your seesaw. This theory also works the same for homes. If you said you love the beach, but you had a lot of family that would like to come down and grandkids, so condos would be a little too tight. And you're also okay with a little drive to the beach, then we'll look at houses. I'd then dissect your budget because housing prices differ dramatically. Do you wanna be on the water with a boat? Do you want to be on a golf course? Do you just want a three bedroom, two bath, 2,000 square foot house with a yard? This guides us to exactly the house you're looking for. And again, the key is finding that perfect balance. Here are the pros and cons I share with all my clients. First, for houses, you need to know that owning a home in Florida is very different. The weather is different, the construction is different, and the maintenance is different. Here are the critical pros and cons. First, you would have the benefit of more land and more space in and around your house. You'd also have more privacy since your neighbors would be a comfortable distance away. The bigger square footage would also let you entertain more guests and family members. Also, you'd likely have the benefit of a private pool and a private outdoor living area. However, here are the cons. With all that space and land, you're going to have more maintenance to do inside and out. They don't happen often, and I haven't experienced one in the last decade, but you will need hurricane protection for your home, and you will need pest control throughout the whole year. No worries, this is all very manageable. You have two options. We can buy a house for you that's in a gated community, one where the homeowners association, or HOA, takes care of all that stuff for you for a monthly fee so you are stress-free. Or if there's no governing HOA or one that covers all of those services, I can help guide and hire you with the right people to take care of all of it while you're gone. We can always make a house work and it can be constantly maintained even when you're not here. Now let's move to condos. Here are the condo pros. I call this easy living. Everything is taken care of for you. You can come down here and enjoy, then simply lock the doors and return whenever you want. Well, everything looks exactly the same. You'll also have fancier amenities. The ocean front pool, underground parking with an elevator to your unit, fitness rooms, that kind of stuff. The negatives to condos are that you will commonly have much less living square footage. And this can be a real nuisance if you plan to have a lot of guests. Also, condo fees typically will run much higher than your regular home due to all the amenities like insurance, maintenance, groundskeeping, etc. And if you really want privacy, a condo might not be great for you due to the shared walls, floors, and common areas. Where lies the real answer? House? or condo. It all depends on the answers you give me that allow me to understand your lifestyle so I can properly guide you to the best city, community, and property. Here's a quick summary of all the pros and cons if you want to pause for a second and take a screenshot. Truthfully, after we talk through these things, all my buyers feel relieved and confident in the direction they are going. Once I have that golden ticket from you, I start emailing you listings and identifying the perfect property. I hope this video allows you to understand that choosing the right property and location 
for you and your family is not a simple answer, but a targeted strategy. It's putting the right ingredients together to create the perfect recipe. And it's something I love to do for clients like you, creating your perfect recipe so you and your family can enjoy the beautiful sunshine state as much as my family and I do. If you found this video helpful, slap that like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that little bell icon to be notified when I launch another one. Make it a great day up there, and I look forward to seeing you down here soon. Do you like golf? Or do you like golf a lot? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so funny, so <laughs> How much do you like yeah. golf? Would you prefer a private swim pool in your backyard or would a community pool be just sufficient? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> would you prefer a private swimming pool in your backyard or would a... <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you want a pool? Yes or no? <laughs> no, just kidding.